Hello, I'm Rex Childhouse, and because things on the internet seem to lose their date references, I'm videoing the introduction on March 24th, 2024. It happens to be Palm Sunday. When I actually get it up to uh, YouTube, uh, I don't know. This is about our visit to the Wall That Heals uh, while well, it was on its stop in uh, El Cajon, California, San Diego County. And we were down there on Friday, March 22nd, 2024. And um, it was emotional. Uh, I visited the Vietnam Memorial Wall uh, in Washington, D.C. while I was stationed there. And um, that was emotional. And this is a two-thirds um, scale uh, reproduction of that wall uh, with a whole lot of other stuff. And uh, I had intended to spend, because I'd been to the quote-unquote real wall, I had intended to, you know, just do a walk-by, uh, see how they did it, see what it was like, whatever else. Uh, and we had other places to go, um, other priorities. My uh, intended walk-by lasted over two hours. I uh, talked to several people. I uh, felt good to talk to people who had done similar things in their career as I had done during my Navy career. Uh, and it, it, was, uh, it was extremely emotional. I uh, came home and tried to dig up some uh, photos from our Washington, D.C. tour when we lived in Northern Virginia, Woodbridge, Virginia, uh, 85 to 87, and uh, I can't find them. Uh, we toured the wall, uh, found some of my classmates' names on the wall, and uh, um, their names are now slipped off into history as replaced by the uh, 17 of my guys who went home under U.S. flags and the 18th. Uh, whose family only got a flag because he was lost at sea. Uh, so uh, time does change things. The wall does heal. And uh, this was one of the most emotional events uh, in, a, in a long time. Uh, and, and not disturbing unemotional. It does heal. And it was phenomenal. So uh, off to the tour. Thanks. I'm still, after <clears throat> two to three days of thinking about how to put this together, uh, still trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with it. I'm not quite sure. Every time I think about it, it takes me back into um, previous life experiences and uh, not causing issues with my sleep, which absolutely amazes me. The presentation was done at Wells Park in El Cajon, California. I had a uh, beautiful U.S. flag hanging up here. I'm not really a big fan of huge U.S. flags uh, hanging at places like car dealerships where they just sag because they're just too heavy for the wind to, uh, to, uh, fla to flake out um, or whatever. Give me a reasonable sized U.S. flag that, uh, that displays nicely. This is the entrance to the park, and I would say the total presentation, uh, the grass area, uh, the booths, um, the displays that they had, uh, the, the benches that they had set up, which was very nice, probably occupied two to two and a half acres. I like learning things. I like knowing things. And we picked up at least four, well, we picked up four flyers that were there. There were possibly more. I didn't see any more. I picked up one of each. And I'm just going to let the uh, video roll through these. Um, you can stop them and read them as they go. But they are the wall that heals, which I will fully agree with that. And uh, they were some numbers about the wall, facts of the wall, which were were quite emotional and uh, I'm just going to let you roll through the um, through the pamphlets. I've copied them and uh, set them up as either individual pages or the two or three full pages that they were produced in. One of the things that um, I really appreciate on this project is they are now trying to collect uh, the faces, the comments, the memories of the individuals that are on the wall itself 
as well as the individuals who died because of their action in Vietnam or in service um, after being out of country and there's ways you can do that you can submit your photos your memories and it's on the pamphlets walking up to the wall as I said this probably occupies uh, two to three acres it's a two-thirds scale representation a duplication of the wall and numerous volunteers walking around uh, very nicely set up uh, not very well covered in the news media it was like a 30 second spot and I'm not quite sure exactly where I found it or how I found it on the internet um, probably the and, and there were a lot of items that were left very specific uh, for people whose names were on the wall by by people who had loved those people this particular one took some time because it was if I can read it right it was Edward Frank senior and Edward Frank Jr. and as you read the card you learn that it's not a father and son but it's two people who indicate a relationship um, through blood but ended up in a relationship through service to their country and uh, emotional no matter what I think how I want to present this I I'm not happy with whatever I come up with so I'm going to suffer through whatever I do I, I wasn't chasing any particular name anymore I didn't research the classmates um, the people from our church our neighborhood that uh, were lost in Vietnam or became casualties of uh, because of Vietnam so I'm just gonna let uh, the the pictures slide through the gold star motorcycle was there uh, the gold star indicates that uh, the family suffered a um, personal loss of an immediate family member and on the tank are the names of uh, numerous casualties from Vietnam looking at the amount of material in the wall itself it's several hundred feet long uh, I would assume there's more than one semi-trailer truck carrying this around and uh, this particular uh, semi-trailer truck which you'll see as individual slides is a education facility and it covered a number of numerous issues associated with the wall and with the war in Vietnam and how people felt about it and how people felt about it after the fact they did address uh, the POWs of Vietnam and read several books about the uh, POWs and I uh, know or have known because several of them have passed away uh, in love and war by Jim and Sybil Stockdale who is uh, he died as a, an admiral in the United States Navy he was a key Vietnam POW and uh, the book uh, Patriot Prisoner Survivor an American family, uh, an American family at war, by Henry James Bettinger, are two good books on uh, the Vietnam POW issues. And to protect the exhibit, uh, so that everybody can appreciate it. I would imagine that this is actually safety glass um, that or uh, bulletproof glass because of its flexibility um, on the cases so there's a whole lot of glare issues and I apologize for that and I'm sorry
pretty much any time I go somewhere to view something I grab a camera just in case I hadn't planned on taking any photos so I hadn't recharged the battery uh, the, the two batteries I have for the camera the night before so I knew I had battery power available to me though and I ended up taking over 110 pictures uh, in two plus hours um, at the wall that heals the mobile display of the Vietnam Veteran Memorial. One of the things that amazed me, and I'd heard it before, and I hadn't, it hadn't really hit me until I was standing there. The wall was designed by Maya Lin when she was 21 years old. What her inspired, what whatever inspired her to pick this design, um, probably should be recorded in history. I don't want to get political, but I do want to get factual. Uh, a number of people, and well, I taught college, community college in particular, did teach four-year college for a little while, uh, tell me that Nixon, President Richard M. Nixon is the guy who started the Vietnam War. No. Uh, the wall has a timeline on it, the, the trailer has a timeline, and it's how we developed into uh, the Vietnam conflict and uh, the facts are it goes back to the 1950s um, which I, I appreciate the educational aspect of this presentation and that's what it was it was an educational presentation it wasn't political it wasn't anti-war it wasn't pro-war it was this was the cost of the war There was quite a bit of information around the mobile wall and a number of groups were supporting it and volunteers uh, so it was well accompanied and um, what you've been looking at is some of the signage that was around the, uh, around the uh, presentation. As I said earlier, I expected to spend maybe 30 minutes there. We had um, numerous things on our schedule, our agenda for that day. I spent over two hours. I took my camera just out of, of habit. Uh, I hadn't expected to take very many, if any, pictures at all. Ended up taking over 110, ended up spending more than two and a half hours, more than two hours, probably closer to two and a half, if not longer. Didn't pay attention to it really enjoyed the conversations I had with the people and um, as I was walking away I just turned around and took one more shot and um, it, it was an amazing trip. I appreciate them bringing it to El Cajon and finding out that it was going to be here. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you get the opportunity to see it, and you, there are ways in the pamphlets that are shown earlier, there are ways you can request the wall to visit your, uh, your town, your city, um, your community. And um, I'm, I'm glad the people who did this got it to come to us. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.